You're heading over to Sweden to play in the Women's Premier League over there. How did that all come about? Uh, basically, I've gotten in touch um, with a couple of my friends that I played in Chicago with, and um, they told me that they had an agency and they helped them out with going overseas. So I uh, got in touch with them and they kind of helped me out and gave me a hand, and yeah, the rest is history. And I mean, you just mentioned playing overseas before. How important is that to your game personally? Yeah, I think it's really good once you hit a certain peak in. You know, playing with the national team, obviously, you keep getting better and better. But the fact that you know it is our Olympic year, but we're not necessarily going to the Olympics, mm. it's important to go and make sure you have that high level of quality and keep improving. So I think definitely going overseas and playing in a high competition is pretty important. I mean, we saw the Matildas at the World Cup recently, um, and also the quality of play in the W League. Do you think those are both factors in um, a lot of Aussie players going overseas and being desired by overseas clubs? Yeah, definitely. I think you know the way that we performed at the the World Cup and also the Olympic qualifiers, and you know a lot of teams that are going to the Olympics, their players are leaving their clubs. So you know the fact that I guess we don't really have much on, um, you know, makes Australian players a bit desired at the moment so they can stay for the whole season so I guess that's a bit of advantage that we have. And you're going over as the number one keeper for the, the club, um, what do you hope to get personally out of it? Um, you know the club isn't in the um, top uh, four teams so it's definitely going to be a challenge and you know Sweden's probably one of the best if not the best competition in um, the world for women so um, you know I definitely hope to learn a lot and come back much stronger and um, you know hopefully have made an impact over there for them. Mm. And you do a lot of work with the Aboriginal community obviously and how do you feel that this is going to impact your young fans out there? Um, you know I just love it I think you know you can always give back to community and just seeing you know when you go to a coaching course or going out into in, um, communities that are just the way that you impact them I think that's really important so I'm, I'm just really excited to see where the next step of um, life behind football and training and games mm -hmm. takes me. And last question, how's your Swedish? <laughs> well, I, seriously, it's so hard. I got a dictionary and can't really pronounce anything, but I'll hopefully get there. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Eve, Lydia. Good luck. Thank you.